Good afternoon everyone. It is Thursday afternoon and I'm outside. It's only like 51 degrees or so. Not the warmest, but not the coldest. We've had it worse. I got no earrings. Didn't get dressed today. Just threw a hat on my hoodie so I can <laughs> uh, come and fill up the Oreo feeder again. And if you recall, I just posted a video of uh, me birding in the backyard where I narrated. Well, I just filled up those feeders with sunflower seeds and peanuts that day that was two days ago it's all gone it's all gone so I just had to fill it up again I'm out of sunflower seeds now I'm getting low on peanuts so um, I'll have to try to get some so uh, I wanted to show you another feeder for the birds it's kind of like a, it's called stackers I get them at Walmart and there's a actual feeder you can put them on and I'm going to show you my hummingbird feeder. So let me show you that. Oh yeah, I uh, got Oreos today. So I got my camera set up to see if uh, any come back. And also uh, saw the first rose-breasted grosbeak of the season in the feeder by the window here by the kitchen. So, and the sunflower seeds were pretty much out. So I filled them now. So hopefully they come back. They will. So let me show you this stuff. I'm, I'm a little hyped. It's birding season. Okay, so this here, you see this is the feeder and it, I believe it came with this thing to hang, hang it up on your shepherd's hook or whatever you have. And these are sold separately. These are the cake feeders. Basically they have like mealworms, sunflower seeds, peanuts. Um, yeah, and they just uh, like a cake feeder, but they, got a, they already have a hole in the middle where you could slide it down this pole. So, and these, the cake feeders, I get them at Walmart for about between three and four dollars a piece. So I stack two at a time here and the birds can perch on here and just peck at it. So uh, that big uh, pileated woodpecker that I just showed you in a vid video uh, last year, I think it was, the one other time I got him in the backyard, he actually landed on this thing. So uh, yeah, they like these things. But again, um, if you don't have baffles on your feeder, the squirrels will just tear this apart and you'll lose it real fast. Okay, so that's called uh, Stackers and I get it at Walmart. I got the actual holder for the cake feeders on there and I got the food on there at Walmart. Okay, let me show you my hummingbird stuff. Okay, so I'm just working off <laughs> the recycle can here. Um, in here I have the sugar water. I soaked um, two, two of these bottles and I soaked them in hot water for a couple days. I kept switching out the hot water so it soaks. And then I have my sugar water in here and I have another one full. So, and that comes from four cups water, one cup sugar. So um, if you make less, remember it's always a quarter cup sugar to one cup of water. So I use four cups of water and I use one cup of sugar because I use the four cups of water. So if you make less, it's one quarter cup sugar to one cup of water, okay? No more than that because it's probably not gonna be good for them. All right, I have my hummingbird feeder here and I ordered this one off Amazon and it has bee guards. So I'll show you here. Okay, so this is what it looks like basically. It comes with a hanger that twist on there um, and you put your sugar water in there and it's got this uh, moat that's called a moat ant moat right here and so these little plastic things here see if I can focus in um, these little plastic things are called bee guards and not all hummingbird feeders are made with bee guards you can see on, I'm tipping the lid over, and you can see on the, on the holes where they would put their uh, beaks, they have these uh, plastic walls here. This is where the bee guard, this bee guard right here, whoop, would go over, okay? Let me, let me put it on there and I'll show you. Okay, so you can see it's on there. I'm not going to keep it on there because right now there's no bees and that'll give me a chance to really clean out these bee guards. 
Um, but in the middle of this bee guard, there's a hole in there. You can't see it hardly, but when the hummingbird comes and he puts his beak through there, his beak will go right through that hole and into the nectar so he can drink the nectar or she. Okay, that's where it's called a bee guard because the bees go in there and they can't get through that hole that's on the bee guard. Okay, so that's why they call them bee guards. You can buy the bee guards separately, but you have to look at your feeder to make sure bee guards fit on there because not all hummingbird feeders take bee guards. Okay, so I got this off Amazon. Um, I did leave a link in my list of Amazon products. Um, so if you want to take a look at it, so that yeah, I just wanted to go over that. Um, so I'm going to put some sugar water in there and I'm going to hang it right by the maple tree here. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, so I put my sugar water in here and you can see it's almost full. Uh, you can see some d dirt and stuff, but it's not actually in the feeder. It's These are enclosed. So, um, yeah, before the summer starts getting too warm, I am going to give a good cleaning to all of these feeders. And the, as much I put in there, I still have half a bottle in there. So, and you want to make sure, especially if you lim live in a warm climate, like super warm and hot, you want to make sure you change your sugar water every couple days. So you don't want it to get moldy in there where the hummingbirds can get sick. So, all right. So I don't have any bee guards in there. Like I said, there's no bees right now. Um, but they can still obviously get to the sugar water and whatever sugar water you have left you want to keep in the refrigerator and I would say you can keep it in there for a couple days before you should change it out so just to be safe especially if you live in a warm area so yeah all right I'm gonna hang this thing up and I'll show you where I hang it okay so this is our maple tree that's right in back of our house here and you can see I might be a little hard to see but I got a chain here and it's wrapped around a branch and it's got a hook at the end so I just hung up the hummingbird feeder there right now and later in the summer or when we actually start coming outside more often um, I'll put another feeder out in the middle of the in the backyard but you actually want to keep your hummingbird feeders where there's shade um, because Sometimes if it's too hot and they don't have shade, you might not get them too much. So, just a thought. Alright, so, yeah, once this maple tree uh, really blossoms, there's going to be a lot of shade here for this feeder. So, that might be a better spot than in the middle of our yard where there, I don't hardly have any trees in the middle. But, but I have several other feeders to put out also. But for now, I'm just going to put this one up. Okay, so... Let's see what we see next. Hey everyone. So yeah, it's raining outside. It's very cold. It's like 40 something with a real fill of 40. And as you can see, we have some hail or sleet going on. You can see all those little ones uh, bouncing in, in and out of the bird feeder there. Yep, it's a cold day. So I'm guessing that's sleet. Mixture of sleet, hail, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, so I wasn't able to go outside and do any bird watching, but I sure am doing it from inside the kitchen here. I'm getting lots of good video and good pictures here from the kitchen window. I've done that in the past. And what makes a great background? These blossoms from our maple tree make a great background. When a bird is perched on the tree there, I've gotten some uh, shots already like that. It's been a good morning of uh, backyard birding from the kitchen window.
Hey everyone, so uh, this is our food pantry haul and this is our weekly haul. So it doesn't look like much, but actually everything here is something we'll use. So um, I was there pretty late. Um, so I just took uh, what I thought we would use. And uh, so yeah, remember this is just our weekly haul. And we did get a couple other things. But I'm filming this or doing the video much later than the actual uh, food pantry haul. So, um, so yeah, uh, not pictured in here are, was a chocolate eclair that I picked out for Glenn. So he already ate that. And there was uh, some bakery, a couple donuts, and then we ate that. And there was four pork chops. So doesn't look like much that we got but we did get quite a bit for a weekly haul we got four pork chops and that's uh, gonna be in this video as well because I uh, grilled them out right away and this is a partial pack of uh, hamburger buns and we used the other ones for the pork chop so you'll see that in the that portion of the video all right so I'll just go over our weekly haul here um, as I said, this is hamburger buns. This isn't your normal like Wonder Bread hamburger buns. This is from our local bakery shop. And again, as I said, we use the other half for our pork chop lunches. And we're going to use the other half to make mini pizzas. So that'll get used all up. Uh, we did get a jar of uh, pizza sauce. A can of Bush's kidney beans two cans of Manwich Thick and Chunky Sloppy Joe sauce and two cans of corn. We got a box of corn chick cereal. Um, Glenn likes those so I chose those for Glenn. We got a roll of toilet paper and a pack of paper towels and a box of uh, mac and cheese. So um, one thing about this uh, weekly pantry this is one that you can actually choose your items and if you come across something you don't normally eat or you don't you know you don't like um, you just don't take it so I took what I thought we would use and that's it so there were items I passed up because I knew we wouldn't uh, it's not something we would normally use or we didn't like so I didn't want to take it just to take it so all right so not all the pantries are like that. Our monthly pantry is they put it in your vehicle and that's it. You get what you get. So um, so yeah, that is our food pantry haul. And you'll see the video either before or after this part of grilling out the pork chops we received. We received four pork chops and they were really good. So, so yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And if the pork chop portion comes after that, it'll just cut off after that. So I appreciate all of your support. And remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time. All right, folks. So it's what's for dinner time. And in today's food pantry, we also got these pork chops. We got four pork chops for me. Um, so we're very grateful for anything we get, especially when they give us meat. And all over the country, a lot of people don't get meat. So we're very blessed to get what we get. So we are going to eat them right away um, on the hamburger buns that they also gave us. So we'll just tear the meat off the bone and put it on the hamburger buns. And that's what's for supper on this Thursday night. <laughs> 